Hello everyone, and welcome to the Well Baby channel. Today, we are going to talk about your toddler's terrible two stage of development. Make sure to watch to the end of the video because I'm sure it will be very valuable information for all of you first-time parents out there. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so we can help you as much as possible with your new bundle of joy. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. The term terrible twos refers to a developmental stage in a child's life, usually around the age of two, when they may exhibit challenging behaviors and tantrums. It's a normal and natural part of a child's development as they begin to assert their independence and test boundaries. Here are some common characteristics of the terrible twos. Toddlers may throw tantrums when they don't get what they want or when they feel frustrated. These can include crying, screaming, and even physical actions like hitting or kicking. At this time, toddlers are learning to assert their independence and may resist help or insist on doing things by themselves, even if they are not capable of doing so. Toddlers are acquiring language skills, but they may not be able to express themselves fully. This frustration can contribute to tantrums and other challenging behaviors. Toddlers are naturally curious and want to explore the world around them. This can sometimes lead to them getting into things they shouldn't or making messes. Toddlers are testing limits and trying to understand what is acceptable behavior. This can involve pushing boundaries set by parents or caregivers. It's important to note that while these behaviors can be challenging for parents, they are usually a normal part of a child's development. Patience, consistency, and understanding are key during this stage. Setting clear and reasonable boundaries, providing positive reinforcement for good behavior, and offering choices when appropriate can be helpful strategies for navigating the terrible twos. It's also important for parents to take care of themselves and seek support when needed. Dealing with a toddler's tantrum can be challenging, but it's important to approach it with patience, understanding, and positive discipline. Here are some strategies that parents, including mothers, can use when their toddler is throwing a tantrum. It's crucial for parents to stay calm during a tantrum. Take deep breaths and try to stay composed. If parents react emotionally, it can escalate the situation. If the tantrum is happening in an unsafe environment, move the child to a safe place. This ensures the child's safety and gives them a chance to calm down. Acknowledge the child's feelings without necessarily giving in to their demands. For example, saying, I see that you're upset because you wanted the toy, validates their emotions. Toddlers may not have developed the language skills to express themselves fully. Use simple and clear language to communicate with them. Providing choices can give the child a sense of control. For instance, you can say, you can wear the red shirt or the blue shirt. Which one do you want? Sometimes, redirecting the child's attention to something else can help defuse a tantrum. Offer a different toy or suggest a different activity. Having a predictable routine can reduce the likelihood of tantrums by providing a sense of security and stability. Timeouts can be used sparingly and should be brief, focusing on giving the child a chance to calm down rather than as a form of punishment. Reinforce positive behavior with praise. When the child calms down or behaves well, acknowledge and praise them for it. Children often learn by observing their parents. Modeling calm and respectful behavior sets a positive example for them. It's essential to note that discipline should be constructive rather than punitive. Harsh punishment is generally not effective and may harm the parent-child relationship. Positive discipline focuses on teaching appropriate behavior and helping the child learn to manage their emotions. If parents find that their child's tantrums are persistent or severe, consulting with a pediatrician or a child development specialist may be beneficial. Toddlers wanting to maintain their independence is a normal and healthy part of their development. It's a sign that they are growing and exploring their own capabilities. While fostering independence is important, it's also essential for parents to balance it with ensuring the safety and well-being of the child. Here are some tips for managing a toddler's desire for independence. 
offer choices that are safe and age-appropriate. For example, allow them to choose between two snack options or decide which color shirt to wear. Create environments at home that are safe for exploration. Remove hazards in childproof areas to minimize potential dangers. While encouraging independence, maintain close supervision, especially in potentially risky situations. This can include activities like climbing, exploring unfamiliar spaces, or handling small objects. Clearly communicate safety rules to your toddler. Keep instructions simple and repeat them as necessary. For example, teach them not to touch a hot stove or to hold your hand when crossing the street. Foster independence by encouraging self-help skills like dressing themselves, feeding, and using the potty. This not only promotes autonomy but also helps in their overall development. Expect that tasks will take longer when toddlers try to do things independently. Be patient and allow them the time and space to learn. Children often learn by watching others. Model the behavior you want them to imitate. Additionally, take the time to teach them new skills with patience and encouragement. Praise and positive reinforcement can go a long way in encouraging independence. Acknowledge their efforts and achievements, no matter how small. While fostering independence is crucial, it's important to balance it with age-appropriate supervision to prevent potential dangers. If there are specific concerns about a child's safety, it's essential to address those concerns proactively. Open communication and a supportive environment where the child feels comfortable asking for help are key components of managing a toddler's desire for independence while ensuring their safety. A toddler's language development is a gradual process that occurs over time. Parents can play a crucial role in supporting and monitoring their child's language development. Here are some ways parents can learn about their toddler's language development. Pay close attention to your toddler's attempts at communication. Observe the sounds they make, the gestures they use, and any words or phrases they may be trying to say. Familiarize yourself with typical language development milestones for toddlers. These milestones include when a child should start babbling, saying single words, and eventually forming simple sentences. Reading to your toddler is an excellent way to expose them to language. Choose age-appropriate books with colorful pictures and simple text. Point to pictures and talk about what you see to engage your child. Have simple conversations with your toddler. Respond to their babbling and attempts at communication. Ask questions and give them time to respond, even if it's with gestures or single words. Use simple and clear language when communicating with your toddler. Speak at a pace that allows them to understand and process the information. When your toddler says a word, expand on it by adding more words to create a simple sentence. For example, if they say ball, you can say, yes, that's a red ball. Toddlers often learn by imitating. Encourage them to imitate your sounds and words. Singing simple songs or nursery rhymes together can also be beneficial. Surround your child in a language-rich environment. Talk about daily activities, name objects, and describe what you are doing. This exposure to language is essential for their development. If you have concerns about your toddler's language development, consult with your pediatrician. Early intervention can be beneficial if there are delays or issues. Celebrate your child's language milestones and progress. Positive reinforcement encourages continued language development. Language development is a dynamic process, and each child progresses at their own pace. Some toddlers may hit certain milestones earlier, while others may take a bit more time. Regular monitoring and interaction, coupled with a supportive and language-rich environment, contribute significantly to a toddler's language development. If there are concerns about significant delays or difficulties, consulting with a speech-language pathologist or a developmental specialist may provide additional insights and support. Encouraging exploration is an important aspect of a toddler's development as it helps them learn about their environment, build motor skills, and foster curiosity.
However, it's equally important for parents to balance openness to exploration with safety considerations. Here are some guidelines for allowing toddlers to explore. Ensure that the home environment is childproof and free from potential hazards. This includes securing furniture, covering electrical outlets, and removing small objects that could be choking hazards. While it's essential to encourage exploration, active supervision is crucial to prevent accidents. Keep a close eye on your toddler, especially in unfamiliar or potentially risky situations. Allow your toddler to make choices within safe parameters. For example, let them choose between two toys or snacks. This fosters a sense of independence. Outdoor play provides a wealth of opportunities for exploration. Allow your toddler to play in safe outdoor spaces, explore nature, and experience different textures and surfaces. Allow your toddler to engage in sensory play. This can include activities like playing with water, sand, play-doh, or finger painting. These experiences contribute to their cognitive and sensory development. Encourage your toddler's natural curiosity by answering their questions and explaining the world around them. Use age-appropriate language to provide information and engage in simple conversations. While promoting exploration, teach your toddler about boundaries and rules. Help them understand areas that are off-limits or unsafe. Children often learn by observing their parents. Model safe behavior and demonstrate how to navigate the environment carefully. Toddlers are still learning about cause and effect. Be patient if they make messes or take longer to complete tasks. It's part of their learning process. Allow your toddler to practice self-help skills, such as feeding themselves, dressing, and washing hands. This promotes independence and builds confidence. Provide toys and materials that encourage imaginative play. This type of play allows toddlers to explore their creativity and develop problem-solving skills. Parents should aim to strike a balance between fostering independence and ensuring safety. This involves being attentive to a toddler's needs, actively supervising, and creating an environment that allows for exploration within reasonable limits. It's a dynamic process, and adjusting the level of freedom given to a toddler can be based on their individual development and the specific context. Always prioritize the safety and well-being of your child while encouraging their natural curiosity and exploration. Be sure to tune in to our other informative videos listed right here on our channel, like the effectiveness of birth control pills and pregnant with twins. You won't want to miss them. Testing limits is a natural part of a toddler's development as they explore their independence and the boundaries set by caregivers. While it can be challenging for parents, providing opportunities for controlled limit testing is essential for a child's learning and growth. Here are some strategies to allow toddlers to test limits in a constructive and safe manner. Set clear and consistent boundaries and establish clear and consistent rules that are age-appropriate. When toddlers know what to expect, they may be less likely to test limits excessively. Provide toddlers with choices within the boundaries you've set. For example, you can say, do you want to wear the red shirt or the blue shirt today? This allows them to feel a sense of control. Frame instructions positively. Instead of saying, don't run, say, walk, please. Positive language can be more effective in guiding behavior. When possible, allow natural and safe consequences to occur. For example, if a toddler refuses to wear a jacket on a chilly day, they might feel cold and learn the importance of dressing appropriately. Offer brief explanations for rules and limits. Toddlers may not understand complex reasoning, so keep it simple and age-appropriate. Understand that testing limits is a normal part of development. Be patient and recognize that toddlers are learning about cause and effect. If a toddler is testing a limit, redirect their attention to a different activity or offer an alternative. This can help shift their focus and behavior. Timeouts can be used as a brief break to help toddlers calm down. Ensure that timeouts are age-appropriate and used sparingly. Reinforce positive behavior with praise. When toddlers follow the rules or make good choices, acknowledge and praise their efforts. Understand that there may be times when flexibility is necessary. Adjust rules when appropriate and consider your child's individual needs and temperament. Offer and often learn by observing. Model the behavior you want to see, whether it's using polite language, sharing, or following other rules. Offer toddler tests limits, it's important for parents to stay calm. Responding with anger or frustration may escalate the situation. Thank you all for tuning in today.
If you found this information helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, feel free to leave your comments or questions below. Remember that testing limits is a normal part of a toddler's development, and it provides opportunities for learning and growth. Parents may establish an atmosphere in which toddlers can explore their independence in a safe and controlled manner by setting clear boundaries, providing options, and utilizing positive reinforcement. Take precautions and be safe.